What's up guys, Landon here, and we got a brand new update in Clash of Clans, so we're gonna go over the new update, and let's see if we can get a good rate in two, or two in for the video. So guys, first off, I wanna say, I do apologize for the lack of videos from this week. I had, I was in the middle of AP exams, got a crazy, crazy last two weeks, but they're over, and I only have one more week of school, then my final exams, and then I'm done, I'm on summer break, and we're gonna be popping out a ton of videos, gonna try to do videos almost every single day on both channels so gonna be a ton of awesome content coming out really soon so I'm excited for that but let's get to the update so the big thing for this update was the war base edit mode so we're gonna go over here and look we can edit your war base so this is super handy for all the farmers like me so I'm gonna do a race mode I'm gonna take out my clan castle some cool stuff like this and I'm gonna fix my base to being a trophy base which is actually super handy dandy so I don't have to flip it back every time the clan war is about to start so you can just be farming in the day we're gonna switch this out so yeah so you can be farming in the day and right before or your clan wars excuse me I'm trying to try to focus put my base together so you are farming normally and your clan wars isn't an awesome trophy base so this is super, super nice. I'm really excited about that because I think they really, I don't know, a lot of people were just wanted to farm instead of having a Clan Wars base. They didn't change it. And then people were getting easy raids because you could just snipe off that town hall. This is going to make Clan Wars much more intense because now my base is officially a trophy base right there. So let's see. And uh, awesome, I had some clan uh, mates give me some bad troops on purpose to show the other awesome feature in this update. You can get some, look, I got some goblins. I don't want goblins in my clan castle. Let's get rid of them. Delete the troop, and now I just have wizards and witches in my clan castle. That's freaking awesome. So that's a really cool, really cool update. So they, they really boosted clan wars because that was such a good update. So now there's my base. It's a trophy hunting base. That's freaking epic. And then when we go back to my normal base that I'm playing normal Clash of Clans on, it's going to be my it's gonna be my farming base. So that is super freaking handy. Awesome. So I'm just going to read through some of the updates that Marika posted on the forum page. So war base layout and war base edit mode. Been wanting to keep a separate layout for a base. Now you can. Your war base now has a life of its own and will persist from war to war without needing to touch your regular village, so you're not going to have to constantly update it. War base edit mode is available on the clan war map during preparation day only, so they're locked during the battle day, so you can't change that. Upgrades in your village are still automatically applied to your war base, but remember to place any new buildings on into your war base layout. So you have to add them, that's cool. Even if you're upgrading your Inferno Towers or Expos in your village, you can toggle between different modes in your war base. So if you wanted like in single target Inferno Towers or all your Expos pointed down or up, you can switch it in your war base. That's really cool. So Clan War stat improvements. All new war stats will be... Oh, shows <laughs> the war tab shows lots of cool new war statistics. Find it under the blue star after the battle day begins. More heroic victory and most heroic... Defense replays for each team are featured in the war stats. Improved clan war info pages. See information about total war attacks, defenses, and stars, one per member. So you can have a really, if you're especially a leader or a high up member in the clan, you can really see who's being a really good in clan wars or bad. So that'll help you make it even better clan if you want to clean out some of the bad attackers. So you can dismiss the donated, the donated troops that I showed you. The notification icon will appear in the chat. So yeah, if let's see if we can scroll down and see where it was. Oh, there it is. Okay, you just missed it, the green. I declared Clan Wars all the way down there. Everyone's freaking out from that. Let's hit up some... Oh, gone for Clan Wars. I was going to hit him up with some minions, but... So now there's some also some Russian language, village edit mode available at Town Hall 3, and that's basically all the good stuff. So this is a pretty cool update. I'm excited. Let's see who we're going against in Clan Wars. Enemy clan. So we're going against Kana Prestige. Looks like they have some pretty good levels around 100s and 90s. So it should be a pretty good battle. And wow, that layout looks so much nicer with the attack use columns. The defense is one and the stars got. That is just really, really cool. I'm excited about this. We might do some more Clan Wars videos coming up soon. We actually definitely will. Let's see how many Town Hall 10s they have. Okay, and, and they also did the numbers. That's another thing. So they have 21 Town Hall 10s. Let's see how many Town Hall 10s we have. 
We got, ooh. So we got to get around like 19. So it's actually going to be a really intense base. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. It's going to be a good battle. Let's go, guys. I'm excited, <laughs> and I'll keep you guys updated for this clan war. But right now, I have 133,000 Dark Elixir. My Barbarian King is 135, so let's definitely get him up a level. So we're going to need 1,500 Dark Elixir, which we can surely get. So I'm going to be look for a raid. I will be back when we get a nice battle. See you guys in a second. Okay, guys, three bases in. It doesn't take long at all. I found a super solid base that I'm going to take on. The first step is first, let's take out the Archer Queen. I also kind of want to feel around for any of the air bombs, because I don't like messing with those air bombs. So we're just going to drop out our clan castle to take out the Archer Queen. It isn't doing a very good job, because my archers are not focusing on the right stuff. But it doesn't matter, we should be able to take out that queen pretty easily with all those minions down. Looks like we should be able to get her. Might need one more minion. Boom. Okay, so she's down. This guy has one air defense gone as well, and his... We really want that 3,000 Dark Elixir, so that's what we're going to mainly go for, but, I mean, there's 300k of a bunch of other resources, too. So I'm going to do, like, a little U circle at the top of this base. I didn't have as many balloons as I usually rock, so I might be a little bit of a concern. So we're sending out all the minions right here. Going to pop two raid spells right there. Send out my king and queen. Drop some free spells to go along with the base. My balloons are rushing forward. I'm going to drop another free spell right there. And then as soon as the other Inferno Tower is popped, we're going to pop that one, a free spell right there. My king, looks like he's going to be able to nail that town hall. We got that one star. Let's chop, get some of this major loot and gold. We got that two star, the Archer Queen. I don't know what she's doing, but hopefully she picks out that gold storage. We got most of the Dark Elixir. Things are looking super sweet on this raid. Look at that Archer Queen. Let's see if she can't snag all that good stuff. All them goodies of that gold. Come on. What you doing, Archer Queen? Oh yeah, there it is. Look at all that gold just being snagged. Everyone's focusing on my king. Doesn't matter, my king, my queen is just being a sniper like she is. Oh, awesome. She's going to try to get some more of that gold from that last gold storage. And we got a sweet raid. We have enough to get our king to the next level. I'm loving using the Bolivian strategy in Masters League, guys. It is just so freaking effective. I'm just making so, so, so much loot. And things are working pretty well. So you know what, guys? I'm going to wrap up this raid right here. A nice 600k raid plus 150 total of the loot bonus. We got basically 3,000 Dark Elixir. So a super solid raid. And we are going to grab the Barbarian King to level 29. That's actually a really big loot. He's going to get his damage to 450. His hit points up 173. That's really solid. Then we'll get him to level 30. Get his Iron Fist ability to the next step. So boom, King is going up. We'll be back for more Clan Wars and more videos soon. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.